Um, Deborah Swavely, Upper Euclid. And I'm sorry to interrupt, but would you please put your mask on? Thank you. Deborah Swavely from Upper Euclid, and I um, wanted to also discuss the mask issue. I have uh, some speaking about the mental health issues that came up earlier, some parent input uh, regarding masks and their effect on their child's mental health. Um, not long after being masked at school for approximately one month, we began to see our element, our child develop facial tics we think were heightened by anxiety. Uh, headaches every day it seems to experience a headache from constant. Why do I need to wear a mask when I'm standing here with plastic around me? Nobody is near me. Every day it seems they experience a headache from the constant face covering. As the mask is off, the headache is gone. My child is struggling to focus, feels as if he is suffocating, has lost enormous amounts of time in school because of anxiety of being masked all day and not being able to breathe. My child is so far behind academically, every time he gets a cough, cold, he's afraid to go to school, even wearing a mask, for fear of kids teasing him as they do not, as they do, as someone sneezes, coughs, yells at them to stay away, they have COVID. My child has frequent headaches and drowsiness from the mask, and overall, it's a struggle many days to get her to go to school. She says kids don't talk as much because it's an effort with the mask. She's depressed. The masks and shutdowns cause depression in my happy child who now seeks therapy and antidepressants at too young an age. The masks have also created division, insecurity, and bullying. My two college kids suffered more than words here can describe. CDC says that cloth masks don't work. They finally read the label. Quarantine and contact tracing is no longer in effect and vaccines are widely available. Why are we still making children wear masks? And why are we going to put them- uh, Ms. Swadley, your two minutes uh, has expired. Thank, Thank you. you.